What's up? Questions for Drew? Excited to get this thing going? Yeah, very excited. Um, the whole team is too, so we can't wait to get after it and get to those games down there in Texas. And uh, But first, tackle this practice. What's sort of the to-do list between now and that first game for you? Yeah, I mean, these next three weeks is going to be filled with a lot of uh, high intensity reps, um, trying to get you really ready for that game atmosphere. Um, and, you know, the preparation goes back, you know, to the months before this, this one practice, but um, really upping the intensity and, and getting used to the, to the game repetitions. How did the way you guys handled fall ball kind of increase the competition among the pitchers and um, in scrimmages, things like that. Yeah, competition has been a huge focus. I think this off season, um, from the pitching side, whenever you throw, um, there's something on the line. It's you versus the other guy, and um, whoever wins, the other guy has to have a payout. So um, the stakes are high every time you go out there, which is you know to mimic that game scenario. And I think we've really benefited from it as a staff. Is it uh, weird kind of being one of the older guys now in that room? It, it is a little weird, yeah. You look around and it's year three and it doesn't feel like it's been three years. But, um, yeah, you definitely feel a lot more comfortable with things. And so um, it's a lot easier to help out some of the new guys and helping them find their way. What do you, what do you think the biggest thing you've learned from Coach, uh, Coach Childress while he's been teaching over the last few months? What do you think he's... Biggest thing you've taken away from him? Yeah, Coach Childress has been great, not only for me, but I think for the rest of the, the, rest of the pitching staff. Um, you definitely can tell that he brought his wisdom um, from being a coach um, and implemented it into our daily routines. Um, a lot of the stuff is focused on competing and, and throwing the ball over the plate. And so that's something that I think has helped me become a better pitcher. And you've definitely seen it over the course of the fall and this early pre-session and the pitching staff and the, the competitiveness that we have. Is there something... He always says uh, that's kind of hit home for you or something with mechanics or is it all mindset or, or kind of what? Yeah, I mean, he's kind of got an overarching thing uh, of keep it simple, stupid. Um, you know, baseball is a complicated game um, and, and the more complicated you make it on yourself, the harder it's going to get. So um, a lot of the things are just, you know, mastering vanilla is another one that he likes to go to. So that's something that we tried to focus on this fall. How are you personally a different pitcher standing there now versus where you were this time last year? Yeah, I think I've you know gained a lot of experience um, just over the course of the last year, being able to go get more innings and, and develop that confidence, and then um, you know adding a couple pitches, um, and then just working with Coach Childress and you know establishing command of the zone. I think has been a big, big step for me. What pitches are you throwing now? Yeah, so um, over over the summer I added in a harder slider slash cutter um, that I really had success with in the fall. It was probably my favorite pitch to go to. Um, and then kind of tweak the curveball grip a little bit just to get it more consistent in the zone. So throw those two um, with the four seam and two seam fastballs and then a change it. What do you think? Coach Childress said when he was first hired that he wants to have the fewest amount of walks issued in the Big Ten. What specifically have you guys been working on to accomplish that? Yeah, so our goal as a pitching staff is to lead the Big Ten in uh, least amount of walks per nine innings. So um, we've established daily throwing routines that we do at the start of our catch. We've got three drills we do um, for proper throwing mechanics. And then every day when we throw bullpens, um, so if you throw a bullpen that day, um, we've got a T-board out there basically for balance, body control, and, and direction towards the plate. Um, and everything is just reinforcing that idea of being in control of your body and your pitches when you're on the mound. So there's definitely a lot of things that you can point to, um, whether it's daily catch routines or our bullpen routines that are reinforcing that. Just, just as a follow-up, how much of that kind of changes from a mindset of, you know, maybe I do have to pitch to contact here, just be in the zone to avoid issuing a free pass? Yeah, I would say that that really isn't the mentality. I think the mentality is more of um, attacking the hitter. I think you can get the same results, um, but be the aggressor in that scenario when you're thinking attacking the zone and attacking the hitter versus having to throw a strike, um, but you get similar results. What do you think of some of the uh, younger guys? Or is there anyone there that sticks out as someone who can maybe make an impact early on this year? Yeah, there's. I mean, just from the, the pitching staff side, um, guys like Tyner Horn, um, Tucker Timmerman had really competitive falls. Um, they can throw the ball hard, and they're, and they're true competitors. Um, name that sticks out is a guy who I didn't really like to face this fall, Case Anderson. He's a freshman. Um, really advanced approach. You can hit the ball to all fields. Um, and it has a good swing on them. So those are guys that, that come to mind. Andrew, just generally, how deep is this pitching staff compared to the teams you've been on the last couple of years? 
I think that's a, a really good strength of our, our pitching staff right now. We have 20 some arms um, on the roster right now, and I think um, you know each and every one of those guys is still competing for a role. I don't think we have set roles right now, and that just speaks to the um, level of, of competitiveness that we've had in our fall and in our pre-session um, scrimmages. And maybe this is obvious, but why is it important to have more guys that yeah. can go out and do that? Yeah, that's a really big thing. And, you know, especially um, in the Big Ten when, when midweek games are of utmost importance, um, you don't have to reach into your weekend bullpen or into your weekend starters to try and get a win there. Um, I think you can look to, to other options, which we definitely will be able to do this year. What's your personal goal as far as your spot in this rotation? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that um, I have a personal goal in terms of my spot. I think um, whatever my role is, I, I really want to embrace that and, and um, do my role for the team. And hopefully, you know, whatever capacity that is, it'll be one that can uh, help the team win. Do you kind of feel like being your third year, this is kind of a prove it year for you? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, I want to have success and I want the team to have success. And so, um, you know, whether it's my third year here or sixth year like Kyle Perry, we all want this team to do well. When you're having those ups and downs your first two years, how do you stay positive and even keel and just focus on what's next? Yeah, I think that comes from um, really focusing in on the day-to-day -day process and, and kind of disregarding the results. Um, Baseball is kind of a sick game where if you if you really look into um, the failures and the successes and the wins and losses, you can really get deterred pretty easily. Um, and so if you focus on what you're doing and the routines that you're doing in practice and, and in the weight room and stuff like that, um, and really committing to those good practices, um, then you know that you're on your way to, to better things. How did you benefit from the summer in Alaska? I mean, what, what did that kind of do for you? Yeah, um, Alaska was amazing. Um, I was able to get out there, um, you know, and obviously it's a beautiful place. Um, it kind of frees you up out there, going out there and just, you know, being away from everything and, and really just getting able to um, enjoy playing baseball and um, competing again, which is what I found up there was that, that love for competition. And so um, I think that made me a lot of, a better pitcher for sure. Max and Bryce seemed to be in the middle of everything last year when things were going really well offensively. Who right now do you see that might be able to step into those roles in the lineup? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have guys um, all throughout the lineup. And I think even this year who will be on the bench who can impact um, our offense in a lot of ways. Um, you know, we got guys returning, Dylan Carey, Gabe Swanson, both who had great years for us last year um, and can step into those huge roles again this year. They both have, you know, the talent um, and the work ethic to do that. Um, and so those are two guys that come to my mind initially when you think of um, filling big shoes. When you got here with all the accolades you, you came in with and all that until now, I mean, have you felt the pressure to kind of be the face of this program at all, at least on the mound? Yeah, you know, um, that's something that I think – um, definitely in my early time here, I would say I would say that was pressure that I felt. I would say um, that's kind of the benefit of you know struggling those first couple of years, at least individually, was that I was able to, to kind of focus on things that um, matter to me a little bit more than on-field success. The relationships that I have with my teammates um, and everything, you know, off the field too, um, and kind of get my priorities right. And so, you know, coming into this year, um, I think I'm pretty free of, of – expectations of myself um, and I'm able to compete um, just for the love of the game which I think you know over this past summer and fall I would say has made me a better player thank you guys Thanks. this team has come together it's another year where more than half the roster turns over what's that process been like of guys getting to know each other and get going as a team? yeah I mean really focus on uh, the competitive nature this year and uh, in that compete mode uh, when you're competing against everybody you kind of getting closer at the same time because you see how hard the guy next to you is working it's making you work harder so uh, we've we've grown together and our chemistry's gotten better just from our, our work ethic honestly so that's been a, a good aspect for us what does that like competitiveness look like? What does that look like in the fall? Is it all baseball competitions, or is it some stuff outside of baseball that your coaches had you doing too? Yeah, I mean, when you look at uh, as a team, what we want to do every year, we really focus on our compete. So, I mean, 
anything you can think of this year was basically a competition. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is just kind of our scrimmages, just kind of like the pitchers. I mean, there's something on the line every time, uh, and there's a punishment for losing. So it's just it's kind of that sore feeling uh, after every time, and you just want to go and win the next day. But, I mean, we had BP competitions. Uh, we had competitions at the beginning of the year just lifting and doing sleds and stuff like that. So just in every aspect, honestly, has been to compete. What's the worst punishment you had for losing? Uh, you know, we've had some pretty bad ab workouts uh, that last a little too long. Uh, a lot of running, a lot of pulls, uh, more than I would like, but part of it. What's your sense of this lineup and, and maybe how it's different from what you guys had last year and, and maybe how you're going to approach things? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, obviously having Max and Bryce in the lineup was, uh, it was, it was great to have, but uh, this team's also great in different aspects as, as if – one through nine, uh, we all have capabilities of filling our roles, and we have guys that have really bought into that. So that's been good to see. And even beyond one through nine, we have guys in the lineup that are going to be ready to step up at any time. So I think it gives our, our coach some freedom of just putting anyone out there that they feel is ready. Your teammate who was just up here, Drew, when you think of Drew and you hear his name, like what do you think of as a player and as a person? You know, Drew's grown a lot through the game. I'm, he's a leader, just even though he's younger than me. He's a, he's a great spokesman, and he pushes everyone around him to be the best they can be. So I look up to Drew, and I can see how hard he works and how hard he pushes the people around him. What's the personality of this team, this group of guys right now? Uh, just like I said, it's, it's the compete. It's the don't care what day of the week it is, don't care who we're playing. It's the go out and dominate and do the best we can. So that's be great teammates to each other and uh, treat every day like it's the only one we're guaranteed. You had a chance to work pretty closely with Coach Sirianni, and if so, what have been some of the biggest takeaways so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, Coach Sirianni's a little quiet at first, uh, but he's really grown on us. I mean, he's, he's a great guy, great coach. Uh, he's worked very closely with us hitters, and I look forward to talking with him and getting to see his insights every day with the hitting. Uh, he's, a, he's able to bring a lot of things to hitting that I haven't heard, and hitting can be repetitive in a lot of things you learn. So just getting that, that new voice with uh, new ideologies has been great for me as a hitter. What have been some of those insights that he's been throwing at you guys? Uh, just honestly different cues uh, in your hitting. Like we talk a lot about my back shoulder and kind of the direction with that. Uh, just kind of new drills and uh, throwing my hands out there in new places and just kind of stuff like that. So just a lot of new things. Did you, I mean, did, when you came back from that hamstring injury, did that linger a little bit? Did that hold you up a little bit last year? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it sucked, honestly. The, the whole hammy was not ideal, but um, just did the best I could to recover. And uh, when I was ready, uh, just stepped in and did the best I could. And you're healthy now? On that. Yeah, 100% healthy now, yep. What do you make of the pitching staff and who are some guys that, that maybe you're less than keen on facing live? Yeah, I mean, our pitching staff is very deep, for sure. Uh, there's a lot of pitches that you don't like facing. Uh, one that comes to mind is, Bobby Olson, uh, he's got a curveball that I'm not a big fan of, honestly. But I'll be very glad when I'm behind him. Uh, but, I mean, a lot. Casey Dice comes to mind, too. Great slider with a sinker combination that, once again, I'm not very keen on. But, uh, honestly, it's I could go on and on. We have a very deep pitching staff, so I'm excited to see them. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Yeah, I did.